Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to be telling you all about how and why I started collecting Reborns and some of the consequences, good and bad, of that decision. I have always loved dolls. As a child I had lots of Barbies and I also had a baby Annabelle that I cherished. In fact, it's still somewhere at my family home. When I was around eight years old, my best friend at the time, Ellie, had a silicone doll that I was obsessed with. Of course, silicones are incredibly expensive and my family couldn't afford to spend that kind of money on a doll, but I remember going to hers and all I wanted to do was play with this baby. Then I grew up and unfortunately sold a lot of my Barbies, which I do regret doing now. Then it got to 2020 and the start of COVID lockdown. For the first time in my life, I was on my own for around 10 to 12 hours a day. I had just moved in with my husband, who at the time was still my boyfriend, and we moved in together in February 2020. Of course, lockdown started in the UK around the middle of March. Some of you will know my husband is a pastry chef, and he still had to go to work every day for most of lockdown, which is why I was suddenly on my own for so long. I am an only child and I do quite well on my own, but being left for so many hours without any human contact was actually really challenging. A lot of people have asked, why don't you just get a dog or why don't you just get a pet? One, pets became incredibly expensive during lockdown. And two, a pet is for life. It's a huge amount of responsibility and we weren't ready for that. Plus, we were living in rented accommodation and not all landlords are pet friendly. I think I was scrolling through Etsy one day when I came across Reborn dolls and it brought back so many memories of me as a child just obsessed with baby dolls. I spent quite a long time looking at them, deciding which one I really wanted and then I spoke to my boyfriend about it and I said, would you feel comfortable if I bought one of these? Because I know Reborns can be quite uncanny valley for people, so I didn't want to bring something into the home that he would feel very uncomfortable with. But luckily for me, he was incredibly supportive and continues to be supportive. Now, as I said, I got my first one off Etsy. I hadn't done a huge amount of research into like knockoffs and scam Reborns at that point, and I'm quite lucky that I didn't get a knockoff but I don't recommend using Etsy because even the artist that I used for my first Reborn, she now sells knockoffs, so I wouldn't recommend her. Luckily, the first one that I bought was not a fake and I will include a picture of it here so you can see her. She was the Rebecca Sculpt by Reva Schick. I did get her custom made and this is another issue I had with the artist is that I specifically asked for her to be rooted with dark brown hair because I was born with a full head of dark brown hair. It took around a month for her to be made and I didn't get any progress pictures. And then when she was finished, I got pictures from the artist and it was quite clear she had like strawberry blonde hair, which was not at all what I asked for. But this was my first time getting a custom made reborn and I didn't know anything about them, about the process. So I just said it was fine and I was so desperate to have her that I accepted her as she was. I did really love her, but I didn't, I would say, bond with her. A lot of people in the Reborn community do say that they bond with their dolls, and I never understood that until I got some of my other dolls a bit later on. Obviously, with the benefit of hindsight, if this happened again, I would definitely not accept a doll like that that's so different from what I had requested. And this wasn't cheap either. I think I spent about £350 on this doll. But at the time, I didn't know any better and I didn't know how else to buy Reborns. Now, I have a whole website, which I will link here, which gives so much information about how and where to buy Reborns. Anyway, so I bought my first Reborn and I did really enjoy having her. I spent a lot of time posing her, changing her clothes, taking photos of her. I even had a few times where I made sure we were wearing almost matching outfits. I didn't really tell my family to start with. I did tell my mum and she made me promise that I would only buy one. That promise lasted maybe six months, <laughs> maybe less, maybe more like three months. <laughs> but in the meantime, I did tell a few of my friends about this. And these were people that I was incredibly close with. And the response I got from some of them was 
actually really awful. I told two of my closest friends from university and they essentially thought I was insane. And both of those people I barely speak to now. I was really upset at the time at the reception I was getting from some of my friends. And when I spoke to my boyfriend about it, he kind of said, well, if these people can't accept you having a reborn, then they're clearly not very open-minded accepting people. And why would we want to have them in our life? And I realized that those are the kind of people that I don't really want in my life. I really like having friends that are open-minded and accepting and don't care if you have a weird hobby because you know what, that makes you unique and different. And I had one friend come over, she ended up being the maid of honor at my wedding. And I remember her kind of looking at it and going, you know what, creeps me out, it's not for me, but if you love it and if you enjoy it, that's great, like good for you. So back to 2020 and I have just this one baby. Within a few months, I found loads of Reborn Facebook pages that I joined and I found someone who was creating a little baby boy and I fell in love with this boy. I will also include a picture. Obviously I was quite new to the community and I thought this was one of the most realistic babies I had ever seen. So I immediately offered to buy him off her. I was so happy when he arrived. I spent so much time just holding him. And then my husband, who obviously incredibly supportive, he would set up a whole photo shoot for me. So he would put like a background on um, and give me his DSLR camera. And I would spend time just making really fun shots of them. Then the Sam sculpt by Gudrun Legler came out and I fell in love with this sculpt. I really, really needed one in my life. And a few months later, I came across one on eBay that was an absolute bargain for the artist. And that was this Sam that I still have in my collection today. This is also my husband's favorite doll in my collection. He always says, if anything happened to me, this is the only one that he would keep. So by this point, I think I had about three or four dolls and I was really enjoying engaging in the Facebook groups that I'd found. I spent a lot of time taking photos of the dolls and then posting them on the groups and the interaction I got from people was so lovely. I actually made quite a few friends that way. As a reminder, at this point, I had not told my family, only my mum knew about my Reborn collection. I was loving taking pictures of my Reborns and I was very conscious that I didn't want to flood the Reborn Facebook groups that I was in with the pictures of my dolls but I was enjoying the interaction I was getting so much that I was posting on them probably multiple times a day. And then I saw that some people had dedicated Instagrams for their Reborns. To start with, I was like, that's going a little far. That's taking this hobby a little far. And then I made one myself purely for my own enjoyment so I could have a place to constantly post all of these pictures that I was taking and that I really wanted to share. I made even more friends through Instagram and there's a few people that I met that I even then met up with in person which was so lovely. I got a few hundred followers, I think a few thousand followers on my Instagram and then I decided to post a TikTok video. I think it was only around six seconds long and it was a little video of Sam. If I can find it, I will insert it here. And again, this was purely for my own enjoyment. As time went by, I kept collecting babies and I kept making videos about it. Again, completely for my own enjoyment. I wasn't trying to gain followers or gain any kind of influence because at this point, again, none of my family knew. So I didn't really want it to go too far. My videos started doing quite well on TikTok with them regularly reaching over 100,000 views. And then around two months after I started making videos, I had my most viral video. I will show this one here. Many of you have possibly seen it. It's currently sitting at around 29 million views, I think. This was not intended to go viral. This was just me showing how to fix a reborn that had a floppy head because I know that some people struggle with that kind of thing and it's quite intimidating to take the head off a reborn, especially one that you love and you don't want to damage. It was purely meant to be an instructional video. 
The response I got was completely unexpected and I very quickly reached over 100,000 followers on TikTok. And whilst that sounds great in theory, it also meant that so many people that knew me in real life saw the video. And I had so many messages from people that I hadn't spoken to in years, like reaching out to me being like, oh my God, is this you? And I knew I had to get ahead of this because I think one of my cousins saw it and I was like, okay, as soon as my cousins see it, they're gonna tell my aunts and uncles and it's just gonna go around the whole family. So I was kind of forced to come out to my family. And I will say, my dad took me coming out to him as bisexual better than me coming out to him for collecting reborns. Which is weird to say and to think, um, but he really doesn't like these dolls. He finds them incredibly creepy, uncanny valley vibes. So for a long time, even after I told my dad, he didn't really acknowledge them. He only started to become more accepting once, one, I was monetized on these platforms and actually making some form of income for my doll collection. And two, when I started painting them. My mum, of course, was supportive from the start. She even came to some doll shows with me. And my mum finds the process of making these dolls absolutely fascinating. Before, when I started collecting, she didn't really ask much about them. But when I took her to a doll show, she went round and spoke to pretty much every single artist, asking them questions about how they make them. And since I've started making them, every time she sees a new one, she has more questions about how I did it. I will say one of the real positives that has come from me painting these is when I send pictures of them to my dad, he always sends back such lovely messages about how good he thinks they are. And I've like overheard him talking to people about them and saying, look how amazing my daughter's use of color is and things like that. So it's really sweet to see him being proud of me for it. Hi, it's editing Jess here. As I was editing this video, I realized I'd forgotten a couple of the other unintended consequences. One of which being how much Reborns have now taken over my life. Obviously not completely, but they are now a large part of my life. And two, how much they have helped me with my mental health. I have a whole other video dedicated to my anxiety, my stress, and how much Reborns have helped with all of that. Okay, back to the video now. So up to 2023, I just collected these dolls and I had always wanted to try making them myself, but I am not naturally artistic. I love doing arts and crafts. I've always done arts and crafts with my mum growing up, but whilst I'm very good at like copying art, I find it very difficult to come up with something out of my head. And I wasn't sure I would be any good at making these dolls. And in fact, the first one that I made, I think I made a right pig's ear of it. It was not good at all. It was so bad, I barely posted about it and I ended up completely stripping the kit and redoing it. I kind of wish I had finished it and kept it so that I could be able to compare and say, look, this is the first ever one I made versus my most recent doll. But despite it being a complete disaster, in my opinion, I had so much fun making it and I was determined that I could do better. So I tried again and again and again, and I spent a lot of money um, buying quite cheap kits. Most of the ones I got were from Bountiful Baby. If you're looking at starting to paint Reborns, Bountiful Baby are great because they are very cheap, but, 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 they are so much harder to paint than more expensive kits. One, the paint does not stick very well, even with primer, especially on the hands and feet. I found it really hard to make the paint stick. And two, they are the palest kits to start with. And this means you need many more layers before you get to a realistic skin tone. Whereas if you start with a more expensive kit, they tend to be a little bit darker. And so they look realistic a lot faster. Anyway, back to the present day, and it's only recently that I have been fairly consistently posting on YouTube. I've recently reached 400,000 followers on TikTok, and I think that's amazing. I am mind blown at that, but TikTok followers seem to be a lot easier to come by than YouTube ones. So all of you watching on YouTube, I am so excited to have you with me. I 
am just mind blown that like 70,000 of you now are following me and are actually interested in Reborns and in what I have to say about them. As many of you will know, this is not my full-time job. This is just a hobby of mine and sometimes it can be hard to keep up with it on top of working full-time. And I'm also studying for another degree at the same time but all of your comments and engagement keep me just wanting to make more for you. I hope this has been interesting or helpful and let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you want to see me make. One of the videos I'm planning on making soon but will probably take me a while is a comparison of dolls. So I was gonna do 10 pounds versus a thousand pound dolls but I am going to have to go and purchase some of the dolls at different price ranges to make that work. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you next time.